Hi, my name is Bochal Darachmedev. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss about relationship between pivots and eigenvalues. I think conceptually, this course can be split into the two parts. When we discuss about the pivots, and we needed the pivots, for example, to solve the system of linear equations in the form of Ax is equal to the B, or to find the determinant of the matrix. If you remember, if you are given a matrix, we did some elementary row operations in order to bring this matrix into the form of a diagonal matrix, d1 and so on, dn, or the upper triangular matrix, or the lower triangular matrix. And the determinant used to be just the multiplication of all of these numbers. And we call them those numbers as the pivots. So they're going to be called as the pivots. And at the same time, so let me write down the determinant of the matrix is equal to the multiplication of its pivots. So at the same time, we needed the pivots in order to identify the rank of the matrix, because by the definition, the rank of the matrix is simply the number of the pivots. And later on, in conceptually different part of the squares, we've discussed about the eigenvalues which is found by solving the characteristic equation. So essentially, the determinant of the a minus lambda i is equal to the zero will lead to the, uh, to the polynomial, polynomial, or which is called the characteristic equation of degree n, degree n. So uh, it, it, it basically means that if the matrix is two by two, then polynomial, the characteristic equation, is going to be quadratic. If the matrix is three by three, then characteristic equation is cubic, and so on. So solving, finding the roots of this polynomial, so finding the roots, or the roots of this polynomial, are going to be the eigenvalues. The roots of this polynomial are the eigenvalues. So you see, so these two parts are different. So the eigenvalues are different from the pivots. So conceptually, so their meaning is different, the way how we find them is different. But it appears there are some common points between them. So one common point would be, so we know some properties about the matrices. It tells you that the multiplication of the all of the eigenvalues is going to be equal to the determinant of the matrix. So the lambda 1 and so on lambda n, the multiplication is going to be equal to the determinant of the matrix. So this is going to be one of the common points between the matrices. So let's, let's try to do this. So um, let's do an example. So let's say you're given a matrix A with the entries 1, 6, minus 1, and minus 4. Well, in order to, so let's find the pivots first of all. So find the pivots. So in order to find the pivots, what we're going to do is, um, uh, we, we are going to bring this matrix to the rows one form. We multiply the first row to the one and add this to the second, so that the matrix is going to be one, six, zero, two. Well, that's it, I think. So this is going to be the two pivots, and the determinant of this matrix is going to be simply the multiplication of the two. So the determinant of this matrix A is going to be one times the two, or simply is going to be equal to the two. So let's check this quickly by just applying the formula when we just multiply the two diagonals, right? So we could just get the determinant from here as well. The determinant of this matrix would be 1 times the minus 4, minus minus 1 times the 6, which is equal to the t as well. So this is the correct answer. So now let's find the eigenvalues of this matrix, say the eigenvalues of this matrix. In order to do this, we need to solve this equation. So the a minus lambda i and its determinant should be equal to the zero, right? So let's find its determinant. Oh, let's uh, let's uh, create this matrix. It's going to be one minus lambda, six minus one, and uh, minus four minus lambda. So the determinant of this matrix. So, so sorry, I have to put the vertical lines because this is the determinant, not the matrix. And the determinant of this matrix is going to be one minus lambda times to the, so let me put the minus to here, 
4 plus lambda and plus 6, right? So 1 minus 1 times is a 6 was a minus, it's going to be plus 6. So let me open the brackets up. It's going to be lambda in the, uh, so lambda minus 1 times is a lambda plus 4 plus 6. It's going to be lambda in the square plus 3 lambda minus uh, 4 plus 6. So it's going to be equal to lambda in the square plus 3 lambda plus 2. It, so it, we can factorize this. Um, it is a linear factors in the way of lambda plus 1 times is a lambda plus 2. Okay, so the first eigenvalue is going to be equal to the minus 1, and the second eigenvalue is going to be equal to the minus 2. So the, the multiplication of the eigenvalues is going to be equal to the minus 1 times the minus 2, which is going to be equal to the 2. So which is determinant of this matrix A? So you see, so they are the same. So the multiplication of the eigenvalues is the same as the multiplication of, of the pivots. And this is equal to the determinant of the matrix. So this is one common point between the pivots and the eigenvalues, so that the multiplication is going to give you the same answer. But, but we would like to go a little bit more. So we want to know, for example, the signs of the eigenvalues. So for certain applications, it is important to have a positive eigenvalues for the matrices. So, and, and, and you see, so the finding the eigenvalues is always difficult because we need to solve the, the polynomial of degree n, which is, which is really difficult. I mean, there is no analytical way to solve this. But at the same time, it appears it is, uh, it is possible to know whether all of the eigenvalues are positive or not without finding them. And it is possible for the symmetric matrices. So let's write this now in the statement. So for symmetric matrix, for a symmetric matrix, as uh, the all eigenvalues, lambda 1 and so on, lambda n, are positive if and only if all pivots are positive, uh, d1 and so on, dn, are positive, okay? So it works for the symmetric matrices, so it basically tells you that, hey, if you would like to know whether all of the eigenvalues are positive, just check the signs of the pivots. So if all the pivots are positive, then all eigenvalues are going to be positive as well. So this is really important, uh, really important statement because it is going to allow us to figure out whether the eigenvalues are of, the, of a symmetric matrix are positive without actually finding them. So let's do an example in order to understand what does the statement actually means in more details. So let's say we are given the symmetric matrix S, which is going to have the entries T, 3, 3 and 2. So what we want is we would like to find the pivots first of all, and then we are going to find the eigenvalues. So let's find the pivots. So in order to find the pivots, we just need to bring this matrix into the row echelon form without multiplying a row to a constant. I mean, we, need, we, we don't need, to, we don't change the determinant of this matrix essentially. So we are given this matrix to 3, 3, 2. We need to get rid of this 3. In order to do this, we multiply the first row to the minus 3 over 2 and add this to the second row. And this matrix is going to be equal to the 2, 3. So the 2 times the minus 3 over 2 is going to be minus 3 plus 3 is going to be 0. So the 3 times the minus 3 over 2 is going to be minus 9 over 2. So if I add the 2 to this, it's going to be minus 5 over 2 minus 5 over 2. That's it. So this is already in the row echelon form, and these two values here are going to be the pivots. So they are the pivots. So the, the first pivot is going to be equal to the 2. The second pivot is equal to the minus 5 over 2. So the determinant of this matrix S is equal to the multiplication of these two pivots, which is going to be equal to the minus 5. Okay? So at the same time, let's now find its eigenvalues. So let's find the eigen values of this matrix. 
S is given again with the two, three, three, two. So please note that this matrix is symmetric, right? Is symmetric. So we need to solve this characteristic equation, S minus lambda i, and its determinant is equal to the zero. So let's find this matrix. It's going to be two minus lambda, three, three, two minus lambda. So this determinant is going to be equal to lambda minus two in the square minus nine. So if you open the brackets for the first term, it's going to be lambda in the square minus four lambda plus four minus nine is equal to the lambda in the square minus four lambda minus five. So we are going to factorize this in a term of lambda minus five times the lambda plus one, and this is equal to the zero. So which two values for the lambda makes this term, make this multiplication to be equal to the zero? Obviously, it's lambda one is equal to the five, and the lambda two is equal to the minus one. Again, you see, so the I, so if you remember the pivots here, the values of the pivots are going to be like this. So A, they are the eigenvalues. The pivots used to be uh, D1 is 2, and D2 is equal to the minus 5 over 2. So the multiplication is, is the same. So the multiplication is the determinant of this matrix, which is going to be equal to the minus 5 here and minus 5 here. But even more, for the symmetric matrices, the signs are going to be the same. So essentially, you have one positive eigenvalue and one negative eigenvalue. And the same is, 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 is true for the pivots, one positive pivot and one negative pivot. And that's true for the symmetric matrices. This is not true necessarily for the uh, for the, any matrix in general, because if you remember in this example, so this matrix is not symmetric, right? It's not symmetric matrix. So we found the pivots, so the pivots, both of the pivots are positive, one and two. And both of the eigenvalues are negative, minus one and minus two. So this doesn't work for any matrix, but for the symmetric matrices, it works. And in our next lectures, we are going to discuss about how we can use this fact that the, all the signs of the eigenvalues or are going to be the same as the signs of the pivots. So, so 